Hey guys, this is Crypto Marie. She does it all, a little bit of everything. Um, this information I'm going to bring you is because of all that's about to come on our way in our life. And I want you guys to be mentally ready for when decision is about to be made. Excuse me, guys. Um, this is not financial advice, no any type of advice, but when I know some information, I share it with you guys, and you can take it with grain of salt, you know, you could do whatever you want with it, but nowadays, there was so many places you can grab information from if you make a mistake. It's really not smart to not educate yourself, so I'm going to try to cover it really fast. I was inspired by alux.com a-l-u-x.com the um, they have um i've always liked this statement where it says the difference the difference between being rich and wealthy that to me wakes my eye it's, it make me think a little like what do you mean i thought once you have money you have money oh no it's a little deeper than that and I hope my phone don't let me down again today. Yeah, I emptied everything I needed to to make sure I have space for this story. And I have a lot more to come. It says 15 ways to create generational wealth and stay with it. Okay. And the uh, explanation it has for being rich, the differences between rich and wealthy. It says rich and wealthy, which is when you earn a lot of money. By working, like working hard, you earn money, you become you become rich, right? And wealthy is when you earn money in your sleep. It's a big difference. When you're wealthy, you could be sleeping and still making money, just like us. Like um, um, when you invest, you don't have to be at work, you don't have to be doing anything. If the market's doing well, you're making money while you're sleeping. So because you stop, let me see. Wealthy is when you earn money. In your sleep, you know you are wealthy. Because if you stop working today, your few, your fortune would still go up tomorrow. So it doesn't matter if you stop working today or anytime. Your fortune will still grow. It will still be on its way to bigger because you are wealthy. Some people don't know the difference, you know. If you get $1 million because you work hard and you lose your job, you're no longer a millionaire. And that's why I always said um, being, a, being a millionaire is a, it's just a statement. It's not really because if I have a million dollars and I have to pay the government uh, three to $400,000 out of it as tax, that's not a, um, oh God, sorry guys, <laughs> uh, fashion, fashion malfunction a little bit, so I had to hurry up. And it's not right. It's not right to um, to say to claim to be a millionaire, and then if you stop working, you lose your job. You're no longer a millionaire. I think I would rather be wealthy, right? So okay. Um, okay, I I wrote a lot of information down. It said, "Did you by time you are sixty five? Okay, I don't know if you know. Did you know by the time you were 65, one out of 100 people you know will be wealthy? This is really crazy. It's mind-blowing. Because somehow, even though if you make some money, even though you, you make some money, uh, somebody in your family is going to blow it off. Okay? So by the time you are 65, think about how old you are now and you become a millionaire. By the time you are 65, all the people that was millionaire with you, only one of them going to survive, going to make it, okay? So um, there was a difference between a personal wealth. Personal wealth is money in the bank. If you have $100,000, it will allow you to buy stuff that you need, okay? And family wealth, liquidation. Um, family wealth is hard to blow it all up. Unless you are really out of your mind with all the respect. Family wealth has some value, some store of value. Um, uh, you buying land. And you pass it on to your children, right? Again, if you want to know more about 15, 15 ways to create 
generational wealth, I would uh, advise you to go to um, alux.com to get the whole thing because in passing, I was writing notes down, but I didn't want to overdo it and I have to write things down. So I give you, you know, the most important one that will keep you, um, that will keep you moving and get the information you need to keep it going, okay? alux.com is where you get all the information you need. So they say, okay, let's say we make it or when we make it in the crypto market. When you get that money, you don't just go and blow it up by buying expensive car, uh, Lamborghini, uh, Maserati, Perch, um, Mercedes Vans. Some people could buy Mercedes Vans now with all the respect, but you know, I'm just letting you know, expensive stuff are expensive stuff. So once you get the money, you cash out, not financial advice. Do your research, hire a financial advisor. But what I have written down, to keep your wealth, to build generational wealth, to pass it on to kids and grandkids, this is what you do. Um, to keep cash flow, cash flow going, you purchase two rental property. Those two rental property monthly going to bring you cash. They're going to keep you afloat. And then, it always, it's also said, build on evergreen businesses. Evergreen businesses uh, has made money in the past and will make money after we all gone. We're talking about um, Google, the internet, Amazon, those businesses, if you were to invest money back then, right now you will be billionaire, trillionaire. But again, people did not take a certain thing serious. So they did not invest as much. Let me tell you something. That's why I'm saying we, the 4%, are the luckiest one starting investing in crypto market right now. Because it's always going to be a time for everything that started, that invent they invented. And the first group are usually the one that made it through, you know. When the Google started, the internet started, people did not really believe it. Some people had doubts and stuff, stay away from it. And not knowing if they had invested or they had a sum of what they had, trust me, things would have been different for them financially now, and they would have lived generational wealth for their children, children, children to come, okay? So remember, I say alux.com is where you go and get the whole story. Right now, I'm just giving you in passing what to do to keep your wealth going, okay? You build on evergreen business. You buy two rental property that will keep on giving you, um, that will keep on giving you, um, bringing you cash flow, okay? And all these brand name we have um, Mercedes Van, Lamborghini, Marazadi. Mara uh, no, is it? I can't even say those names, yeah. Please forgive me. Walmart, Target, those are all last name of family member. Have you ever thought what your last name will be one day? It doesn't have to be in a business. But when you made something out of your last name, people, Valenciaga, people are using those things, those brands they buy, Valenciaga, Gucci, um, what's the other one? So many brand names. They use their last name and they leave a legacy, uh, legacy you know? For their children, children to come. So it's really a great thing. Um, what else? And another thing they say you have to invest in a S&P 500. If you had purchased Apple, Google, you would make trillions now. We just have to found the, the next Google and the next Amazon and the next Apple to create wealth for our children to come. S&P 500 bundle, the best in the U.S., $100 invested in the 1965 to 2022 would have given you right now $27,415. Not bad, right? Not bad. And $100,000 invested in 2010 will be over $800,000, eight time, eight, eight, is it eight time X in 12 years? 
S&P has returned an average of 6% per year, every year. So even though I'm not really into the stock market now, I'm more focused in the crypto, but whoever into it, you know, do your research on the S&P 500, you're not going to lose your money. And they recommended um, Fidelity and... Um, Fidelity and... And what's the other one? And, oh God, Etero to invest in the S&P 500. There's another one. I just can't... I can't understand my, my own handwriting right now, guys. This is crazy. Um... Fidelity is one, and I think uh, Charles Swat, Charles Swat, and Etero. Those do your research first. Remember, remember, just do your research before you start investing in the S and P five hundred. But it has a good reputation of not losing your money if you put your money in there, thinking ten years from now. Okay. Um, and secret to generational wealth to build you bow. They say this, those are the three things. You buy, you borrow, and you die. Okay? Those are the three things to, to continue on your journey. Some people are afraid to borrow money. I'm not financial advice. I would not ask anybody because of the recession, because of the high interest rate now. But there was a time that the, the interest rate was really low. You could have borrowed anything and invested in there. And then you cash out. You, you pay your initial loan. And then by that, by you creating that kind of trust, they're going to lend you more money and you buy more property and you created more cash flow, more things to come. I'm telling you this because we one day going to have money and we need to know what to do once the money get in our hand. Don't go crazy. Write things down now so you don't waste time. Once you have the money, you start buying some property to bring you some cash flow and um, you invested in more stable coin and more stable um stocks before you know it you're on your way to greatness do not quit your job without having those things in order because you might regret it i have heard people quitting happy making money and now they are looking for work right now it's ridiculous it's outrageous have a plan before you stop working all right um and another thing they say, if you need money, never sell your assets. Never sell your assets. Borrow money towards it. Okay? Borrow money towards your asset. And another thing they saying, let's say you own a piece of land or apartment. You borrow against, against it. Let's say you need some money. You don't sell your apartment. You don't sell your land. Because you don't pay tax on borrowed money. This is very important. You do not pay tax on borrowed money. So do not sell your assets. After you purchase your apartment, they will give you cash flow. You need some money. You borrow money from your assets. Do not sell them. You sell them. You kill it. You, you destroying the tree. You destroying your generational, generational wealth that you're trying to build. So you borrow money towards towards it, and guess what? You don't pay tax on it. It, it. it doesn't get any better than that. Remember, guys, I'm not telling you everything little by little. It will take me too much to write everything down. I'm just giving you an overview on how the system go. And um, once you borrow money, it's not to blow up in some crazy, expensive $400,000, $500,000 car, a jet, a 10-bedroom house that you will never see any of the bedroom. All you need is two, three, four bedrooms.